code file, new, new family, and choose code and wall panel. Then go to exterior view and change dimensions to 190 and 180 millimeters. Zoom in and let's create another reference plane in the middle and let's change the scale to 1 to 2. Now let's create a four reference planes that will represent overhang for our brick. So next we need to add a parameters for those reference planes. Let's call them overhang and we need to add those parameters to all four of those reference planes so we can control those overhangs later inside of the family type. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's change the overhang to 15 millimeters. So next we need to add four more reference planes that will represent our horizontal seams between the bricks. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next we need to add a parameter to those reference planes so we can control the height of the seam inside of the family type. This is going to be the center and it will be the full height of the seam. So now we need to add parameters for the half height of the seam. And let's name that seam divided by 2. Next we need to edit that parameter and we'll add equation that will calculate half height of the seam. It's seam divided by 2. And let's add that parameter to top and the bottom reference planes. So next we can start to add brick extrusions and we need to snap those boundary lines to those reference planes. So when you use align tool make sure that the auto lock function is enabled. It's much faster to align and lock automatically. Next we need to add extrusion end and extrusion start parameters. Let's call it depth end and let's call extrusion start depth start. Now open family type properties and add new parameter called depth with value of 120 millimeters. Now let's add equations to those depth start and depth end. Depth start is going to be negative depth divided by 2 and depth start is going to be just depth divided by 2. Now when you open a plan view you can see that our brick is extruded equally from the middle. Next we need to add another brick on top of this brick. Let's do the same. Add extrusion. Align snap those boundary lines and add depth end and depth start parameters. And let's add another parameter for the brick material. Let's call that brick material. Okay, and let's add that brick material parameter to our first brick. Okay, when that is done, we need to add two more reference planes that will represent the width of our seams on the sides of the bricks. Let's add parameters seam to those reference planes. And we need to add two more reference planes below our bricks that will represent the width of our seams in the places where the bricks overhang one another. Let's call that parameter a overhang times 2. And let's add a formula to that parameter so that it will always calculate overhang times 2 dimension. So when that is done, let's add that parameter to this reference plane below the top brick. And let's check the values. Okay, 30 and 30. Okay, great. And we need to add last reference plane below the lower brick and snap that to seam parameter. When that is done, we can start to add seam extrusions. And to make it more realistic, we need to make it so that the seam extrusions are indented. And to do that, we need to duplicate depth end and depth start parameters. Let's call them depth and seam and depth start seam. And we need to subtract 5 millimeters from those values. When that is done, add those parameters to extrusion start and extrusion end. And let's add a new material parameter for the seam. Let's call it seam material. Okay. Now let's add another horizontal seam in the middle of the bricks. Let's snap the boundary lines to reference planes like before and add extrusion end and extrusion start parameters and material parameter. Okay, now let's add a first horizontal seam to the lower brick. Like before, snap those boundary lines and add the same parameters to this seam also. And when that is done, we need to add another horizontal seam in the middle for the lower brick. Let's draw another reference plane and snap it to the overhang times 2 parameter. Now make an extrusion and just like before snap that to the reference planes and add the same parameters to this seam. Extrusion end, extrusion start and the material parameter. Now when that is done we need to start to add vertical seams. So draw the first vertical seam and snap that to reference planes. And now the only thing that's different for these seams are that we will add a visibility parameter so we can turn on and off these vertical seams. 
and let's create a visibility parameter called side seam and let's put it under construction okay great now let's draw another vertical seam and just like before snap that to reference planes and add the same parameters including the visibility parameter so the extrusion and extrusion start the visibility the material and when that is done we need to add last seam it's going to be vertical seam on the bottom and in the middle of the bricks and it's very important to add this small cube so that later there will be no issues with the brick pattern on the curtain wall and we need to add visibility pattern the same as for the vertical seams and the model is almost finished next we need to add a new type let's call it 15 millimeters and all we need to do is add a few more calculation parameters so later when we add a curtain wall it will be easier to calculate the curtain wall spacing the first parameter will be the brick length and it's going to be instance and reporting parameter the second one will be brick height and it's going to be also an instance and reporting parameter as this is reporting parameter it will only show the real value of the brick length so we need to add one more let's call it b length and let's add another vertical spacing parameter and let's add a formula to that you can just rewrite the formula from the video so this calculation will allow us to calculate vertical spacing for the curtain wall if we change the brick length that we want let's say 250 and we need to add vertical spacing as 440 if we change the overhang also the spacing changes let's say 30 millimeters and the spacing changes to 380 and you can just take that value and add to curtain wall and we can make the same for the height of the brick let's call that b height let's duplicate this and let's call that horizontal spacing and just like before you can stop the video and add the formula from the video and what this does is the same as before when you change the height or change the seam height of the bricks the horizontal spacing changes and you can just copy that value and paste it into the curtain wall and get the exact spacing that you need for your brick height okay let's create new empty file and let's create new curtain wall edit the type and add spacing 440 by 180 and we can change that later according to our brick dimensions and according to the overhang that we want for our family let's flip that and add a elevation view let's open the view and now go to our 3d view of our curtain wall panel brick family let's save that and load that into the project okay and now we need to edit our curtain wall family type let's edit type and let's add our brick curtain panel okay great and you can see that there is our pattern now select the panel and disable the side seam now let's measure how much is the overhang here it's 60 millimeters so let's rename this type to 60 millimeters okay so what else can we do with this curtain wall panel let's copy this curtain wall to the side and we can create new curtain wall family type with no gaps between the bricks now we need to duplicate the curtain wall panel type let's duplicate that and let's rename that to 120 edit type and add overhang to 120 when that is done let's duplicate this curtain wall type and let's add our new panel of 120 you can see that there is still gaps between the bricks and that is because the vertical spacing or the grid lines is not correct so how do we fix that let's select one of our brick panels and you can see that if we want a brick length of 250 we need to add vertical spacing of 380 let's edit the curtain wall type add vertical spacing of 380 and the brick size is correct and let's do the same for our second curtain wall type edit type and add value of 260 and if we select our brick curtain wall panel we can see that there is value for vertical spacing of 260 and when we turn back on the vertical seams we have a brick wall with no gaps and here we go you have two types of brick walls with the gaps and without the gaps and now you can combine and create new types of these brick walls hope this helps have a great day and see you in the next video